The Hidden Stairs and the Magic Carpet by Tony Abbott. Chapter 1 The Small Room. Ari Hinkle ran past his mother on his way through the kitchen. He was heading to the back door. Neil and I are going to play soccer in the yard, he said. Julie's coming too, got to go. Stop, his mother blocked the door. Didn't you forget something, Eric? He held out her hand. She was holding empty garbage bags. Eric looked at his mother. He looked at the garbage bags. All of a sudden, he remembered. Oh no, I forgot about the basement. Knock, knock. Eric sighed. He pulled the door open. Neil Koga stepped into the kitchen. Neil lived at the end of the Eric's street. He's Eric's best friend. Hey, what's up? Neil asked. I have to clean the basement, Eric grumbled. Mrs. Hinkle gave Eric a garbage bag. You know your father was to start remodeling the basement soon. This was supposed to be your special job. Neil made a face at Eric. That doesn't sound like much fun. According to my dad, it's not supposed to be fun, Eric replied. It's supposed to be done. Give it two hours, Mrs. Hinkle said. She pointed to the clock. It was a two o'clock. Two whole hours? Eric headed for the basement door. Hey, I will help, said Neil. We'll be sort of a team. Maybe we'll find some cool stuff. Eric smiled. Neil is a true friend, he thought. He would even help clean up junk. Okay, come on. Eric flicked on the light. The two boys tramped down to the basement. On the right side of the stairs was the playroom. It had paneling on the walls, bookcases, a toy chest, a big sofa, and even a television. This looks pretty clean, Neil said, packing in. If my basement was like this, I'd live down here. Eric liked the playroom too. It was a great place to hang out on the rainy days. The playroom isn't the problem, Eric said. Look over here. He stepped into the other side of the basement. The room on the left side of the stairs. The side his father was going to remodel. What a mess, Neil said, looking around. On one wall was a tool bench filled with jars of nails, nuts and bolts. On another wall were cabinets aligned with the canned food. An old washer and dryer sat against the dead wall. And everywhere in between was junk. In piles, in bunches, in cutters, in boxes, there was even a dusty old chair sitting in the middle of the floor. We'd better get started, Erin muttered. Neil slumped into the old chair. We? Did I say I would help? Eric stared at his friend. You said we were a team. I will be a coach, Neil said with a smile. Tap, tap. A face appeared at the basement window. It's Julie, said Eric. He waved. Come in. Julie Robin had been friends with Eric and Neil ever since they got stuck in the tree together in kindergarten. Since then, they'd been in all the same classes. They even went to the same summer camp. Hi, Julie said as she raced down to the stairs. She held a soccer ball under her arm. I thought we were going to play, she said, checking her watch. It's only two o'clock. Eric dragged a big toy box out from under the stairs. Sorry, I've got to clean all this stuff up. And I'm coaching. Neil said. Ball, please? Julie passed the ball to Neil and looked around. It looks like a big job. I will help. 
How about a little game first? Neil said. He stood up and bounced the door once. Then he swung his foot hard. Heads up, everybody! Wait! Eric yelled, ducking behind the box. Too late. The ball was already in the air. It bounced off the tool bench and smacked Neil right in the face. Oh my nose! Service you right," said Julie. The ball bounced off the washing machine and rolled into the shadows by the stairs. I will get it. Julie jumped after the ball, then stopped. Hey, what's this? She pointed to the door in the wall under the stairs. It was open slightly. My house has that too," Neil said. There's a cool little closet inside. Eric remembered seeing that door a million times, but he had never been inside. It must have swung open when I pulled the box away. Well, I think the ball went in here. Julie said. She swung the door open further. Cool. Inside was a small closet. The ceiling was the underside of the basement stairs. It slanted all the way to the floor at the back of the room. In the center sat the soccer ball. This is great, Eric said, packing all by Julie's shoulder. We can put some of junks in here. Julie stepped into the room and reached for the ball. It's an awesome secret hideout. Let me see, Neil said. He jumped over to Eric. Accidentally pushing him into the door, boom! It smelled shut. A muffled scream came from inside the room. Help! cried Julie. I'm falling.